Hello everybody, this is Trinity Giver back to kick off part 2 for the last 32 rounds. And yes, we got two more matches for you to look forward to. At first we will see Lanzu taking on Nopi. And then, one I'm looking forward to because this was a matchup that these two actually wanted to see in the tournament. And they're going to see it. Torvasaurus taking on Shadow Force. Let's go on with the first match. Alrighty then, in the red corner for Lanzu we have Lanzu Source of course. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this one because I don't know who's going to win. But I will say Lanzu does have the type advantage over Nopi's first dino so that could be key in this matchup. And this Lanzu Source definitely packs a punch. You know what else packs a punch? Well not much of a punch but is very resilient. This tank been very impressive so far. Um, Nopi started the tournament really strong, but kind of faltered a little bit in the latter stages, but finished off with a fine win. But this is going to be a tough matchup for Nopi. Lanzu, I think Lanzu's been getting quite fortunate with the draws, like no win dinosaurs in in the group they were in and well if they get far enough they won't draw a wind dinosaur until they until I think the quarterfinals but they could face ultimate dino queen so I think Lanzu has been quite fortunate in the, with the matchup so far but can they take advantage of it you got a big foot assault big damage coming tanks way even with that defense boost it might not be enough. Oh, oh yeah, because Lanzusaurus is all its power is in the crit, so yeah. Ooh, another defense boost from Tank. Tank holding his own against the Lanzusaurus. And Nopi is in the lead at the minute. Ooh, another hit from Tank, of course. One super impact can change all that. Oh, that's a tie. And I think that suits the tank a bit more. Oh, the super impact there. Being denied by tank and Nopi races into a 1-0 lead. But it's still not going to be an easy matchup because as for Lanzu's second dino, we have an Edmontosaurus. Yet another grass dinosaur for Nopi to deal with. But... Nopi is in quite a strong position, and Nopi will have a type, could have an A type advantage in this matchup if his chomp can get past this Edmontosaurus. It will take on the water type Super Titanosaurus. Ooh, but the Edmontosaurus does get off the first hit, and it's a medal win. Oh, it's, it's so good to do these again. I, 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 you have no idea how bored I was last week because I couldn't do these. Horrific. Ooh, tank getting off the crits here, but I think the defense boost has maxed out, so he won't get any more defensive than he is now. Oh, that's a tie. But that will suit tank more because Nopi does have the lead. Ooh, Lanzu though, pulling it back to 1-1, one, one, as the tank goes down. But, as for Nopi's second dino, we have Super Chomp. Not as resilient as tank, but packs more of a punch. And, as I said, it will, it could have a type advantage if it can get past the Edmontosaurus and get to Super Titanosaurus. Doom, doom, doom. I said after, I think it was after Nopi's second match, that Nopi could be one to watch in this tournament. And it's turning out, to, and it could be turning out to be true. Of course, I'm not counting Lanzu out, because he's not that far behind, and, well, look at that, he's pretty much even, almost even the score, and I need to get my notes out, so I don't miss the awaken mode. Okay, that's once. Hang, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Ooh, metal wing come in. Nopey, 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 nopey. Okay, wake a mode on three. Lanzu taking the lead. 
Ooh, but there's the counter blitz. That could change all that. Ooh, but Chomp won't be needing it. And here comes the recovery. And a critical hit to boot. Is that... I think that's recovery. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's awakening time. And no, it's not recovery. It's light recovery. My bad. Oh, it's a tie. And that's exactly what Nopi wants. Because the Edmontosaurus goes down. And it'll, and it'll still be in awakened mode, Chomp. So it could get a big hit off on this Super Titanosaurus. I feel like this is a big moment in the match. If Nopi gets this hit, then I think Nopi will win this match. But if Lanzu gets a hit, then I think they might turn the screw. Oh, it's going to come down to this, isn't it? Oh, it's a tie! But again, that's exactly what Nopi wants. Because ties do do a lot of damage to this thing. And there's the crit! And I think that is curtains for Super Titan. No, it's not. But look at that! All Nopi needs is a tie and he will win and knock out Lanzu. Ooh, Hydro Cutter though, Hydro Cutter. Coming in there to finish off Chomp. Well, they should finish it off. Lanzu not dead and buried yet. But as I said, all that needs to happen is a tie and Nopi will be going through. And with this super resilient Isosaurus coming in, I think Nopi's got a good chance of winning. I called it, didn't I? I said if Nopi gets the awaken mode, if he gets the hit while in awaken mode, he will win this match. Well, most likely win this match, you know. Lanzu could get like consecutive hits in a row and still win, so. You know, there is that. But that's not gonna happen. And there's the tie that defeats the Super Titanosaurus and eliminates Lanzu. Nopi there with a quite impressive win. And they will advance to the last 16. Well, who will they face? Well, you're going to find out now. All right, then. Here we go. Up first for Torvosaurus, we have an Isosaurus. This beast could be key for Torvosaurus if he wants to win this match. Because this Isosaurus will have the type advantage over Shadow Force's first and third dino, should it get that far. Will we actually see Aqua Javelin and Ocean Panic resolve? Probably not. Okay, in the blue corner for Shadow Force, we have an Alpha Ragosaurus. We've seen how impressive this thing has been. And it definitely contributed to Shadow Force finishing top of Group B. But it's going to be in for a tough matchup here. As, it, as I said, it will be a tight disadvantage against that Isosaurus. Ooh, I'm looking forward to this one. Although, I will say, if it's on form, then you probably say Shadow Force should win this match because Torvosaurus' form going into this is not very great. I mean, opened really well, but three straight defeats has seems to have knocked them down a bit. Ooh, a good start from the Raj, a firebomb incoming. Wow, that's a decent amount of damage, isn't it? Even with the type disadvantage. Ooh, a net crusher coming in. And this is not affected by the type disadvantage, so standard damage will be down. And look at this from Shadow Force, well on top early on. Isosaurus getting a wallop in. But the Isosaurus does get off a big crit, so... The Ragosaurus is not unscathed, and look at that. Even in the score in an instant. Oh, here comes a tie. <laughs> Ooh, the Magma Blaster. Shadow Force dealing with that tough, tough matchup relatively well. Could Shadow Force go all the way? Well, they have to win this match first. Alright, as for Torvosaurus the second dino, we have a Super Shuntungasaurus. This thing has been up and down for Torva, really, you know, is 
had glimpses of what it can do, but it's been relatively disappointing in some matches as well, particularly against Mr. Backpack. Okay, with the mode on, two. But hopefully for Torgo's sake, they won't need it to take out this Raj. I think they're going to need it to take out the Raj. That's once. Ooh, it's a tie, it's a tie. Ooh. Well, well, well. I think this is going to happen again. If you don't take out the first die, no, you end up going 2 0 down. Oh my. Wow, I almost killed it. Well, big moment this. Big moment. Oh, the Raj gets the hit. <laughs> Torvo's poor form going into this is showing. And Shadow Force continues to impress. Well, not only now does this Kakirodontosaurus have to get past the Alpha Raj, but it's also got to defeat the Baryonyx and the Gigas that has yet to come. But with heavy hitting moves like Magma Blaster and Burning Dash, it can be done. I should really re remake my Kakirodontosaurus skin for Jurassic World Evolution. I should add a little bit more detail on the head or something, I don't know. Yes, that's my main focus these days, is just making mods for Jurassic World Evolution, because I, I, got, I got to make up for all the ones I lost. Although, I did get some of them back, so I am happy with that. Anyway, back to the match. The Alpha Rajasaurus finally biting the big one. But, as for Shadow Force's second dino, we have a Baryonyx. A very, quite a popular choice in this tournament, and you can see why. This Baryonyx will be at a type advantage against that Kaka. So I still think it's Shadow Forces to lose. Like, these two these two are so impatient throughout the throughout the week. They waited they waiting for me to post tournament videos because they want their match out the way. Well, one of them will be glad it's up, the other one won't be. And from the looks of it, it looks like Shadow Force will be happy to see this match, but Torva will not be. Ooh, could this Magma Blaster turn the screw in Torvo's favour? Boosh! Wow, that's a impressive. Even with a type disadvantage, that's quite good. Oh, here comes another tie. That's exactly what the Barry wants, though. We're down our Kargar's health, so when gut so when or if Gigas comes in, it'll be an easy pick in. Yep, that's exactly what the Barry wants. The Futaba Cannon is gonna finish off the Kakirodontosaurus and eliminate Torvosaurus from the tournament. As for Shadow Force, they will advance to the last 16, where they will face a tough match against Nopi. Ooh, that could be an interesting match. Uh, but, yeah, because it's, it's two who I think are dark horses now. Two dark horses in this tournament, Nopi and Shadow Force, going up against each other. And I, th I think whoever wins that match might go all the way. You never know. I mean, they're, they're on the good side of the draw. If you Hang on, I'll, I'll show you the table now. Uh, give me a sec. But yeah, if you look at the format here, they're on the good side of the draw. Because the only real heavy... Well, whoever goes throughout these two will be a tough match. But you look down here, the only real heavy hitter is... We have these two. Well, one of them's going to go home. And Arctic Warriors. So yeah, I think I think they could be in with a good chance of going all the way. I mean, this side's probably the tougher end because you've got Tor, Lausp. Uh, Danex Tactile has been pretty impressive. You got me. Um, yeah. Could be a tough one. But yeah, that's that's the format. So stay tuned for next time where we will see Nano Hunter taking on Slifer Sky Dragon and Random Guy 86 going up against Tor. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out.